Hi, my name is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel Handbags and Happiness. This is not a handbag video, it's more of a happiness video, which is about my recent trip to Sandals Royal Caribbean in Montego Bay, Jamaica this past Christmas. We spent the week of Christmas at Sandals Royal Caribbean. When we found out they were opening a new building, we stayed in the Crystal Lagoon Hideaway Swim Up Club Level Junior Suite with patio and tranquility soaking tub. They did the grand opening to their new building, which is the Checkers building that holds 48 new suites. Now we arrived pretty late at night, so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the room, and then when in the morning I'm gonna show you the building a little bit more and all the outside amenities to the building. So this is a club level room, so you'll have the club level concierge. You walk in, it smelled really nice and clean. They had just mopped the floor that night. We got there about 5.30ish, and we were in room number, I cannot remember, but it was a ground level room because it was a swim ups room. I think it was 105 or 106, but it was in the corner of the building. The building is shaped like an L. And so that's another tip. So if you are looking for a room with the most sun, get a room like 101, 102 or towards the end, like 111, 112. The, build, the rooms in the corner don't get that much sun, which was okay with me. But if you want a sunbathe in your room, definitely get a, cor uh, a room on the end. So you walk into the room and you have your little, I call this the little bar area with your liquor and your refrigerator. Here's a mirror, and just give you an overall look of the room. It was freshly painted, very nice. A king size bed, you have an alarm clock, and it is an open window to the shower, but you can slide that door back. You have a full screen TV. I love the artwork in this room. It was just very clean. You do have four drawers in the little dresser and that was enough before me and my significant other. He used two of the drawers, I used two, and then everything else we hung up. You do get this little desk with this beautiful circular mirror. You have your blinds or your curtains rather that will set out the light and give you privacy. I love this little couch. It was very comfortable with the little table. We ate there, I think one time, but it was pretty much just a lounge area when we came in to get away from the sun. The bed was extremely comfortable. You had a total of six pillows, different ranges. Here was a nice ceiling fan. I love the aqua colors, very Caribbean, very sandal-esque. They had tons of outlets. I wanted to just highlight some of this couch. It was so cute. Then you had a full length mirror next to the bar. Now let's take a look in the closet. You can see you've got tons of hangers, an iron, a miniature ironing board, an umbrella, a safe, and a little rack for your luggage. It was definitely sufficient space. Not too big, but sufficient space. Now the bathroom was my favorite part. I love when you have double vanities. I love the LED lights, the light fixture. The only thing I didn't like about the room is that the bathroom, the actual stall, the toilet, is like in the cut and there's no door to it. It's deep into the wall, but there's no, it's just the opening. But the shower made up for, you have the four, three different shower heads. You have the handheld, the diagonal, and then you have your rainfall shower. They put a lot into the bathroom and the towel. It's just absolutely clean, modern, and beautiful. Your double vanity, you have your side mirror, your vanity mirror, and then your two LED mirrors. Another great detail that <laughs> we're showing off here is the different lighting that you can change in the room, in the bathroom lighting. I want to point out some details like this beautiful blue and light colored, I don't know, I believe they call this glass towel. It's just absolutely beautiful. It just gave a great decor to the room. The artwork, this beautiful peacock, everything was just so clean but well put together. I love the lighting fixture. You had extra space for your Kleenex in the wall next to the sink. Every room had antiseptic in it, and of course, you had your beautiful red lane spa toiletries. 
One of the point out the light switch because you control the fan and the light with the light switch. Now let's go outside. It's kind of dark because like I said, we got there after 5 o'clock. Oh, we're in 105. And it was kind of dark. So I'm going to come back in the morning and show you the room in a little bit of detail. But here is the swim up area in the corner. Very, very beautiful. My favorite part of the room is right here. The tranquility tub. You have a ceiling fan outside. As you can see, it's just really lush green plants. I just was so in awe. I mean, the room was so new. Some of the items still had plastic on it. You can see you can have a little hydrotherapy with the, that's the corner room, so it's 106. I would not recommend that. I think that was our room at first, and there's no sun back there. Okay, it's morning time, so I'm gonna give you a little bit more detail so you can see. This is the entrance to Sandals Royal Caribbean Montego Bay. Very beautiful. This is December, and it was in the 80s. I, the weather was just absolutely amazing. Now, this is the room category for if you want to stay, up, stay, stay upstairs. And what you would do, you would just walk in. There's Here's the building. You would walk in. There's a little couch seating area right here. You would go around the corner. So you wouldn't go all the way deep down like we did when we entered our room. You go around the corner to the elevator. There's a little bench out here. And here is the elevator to take you up. You just press the button. And I'm not going to get on because I don't have anywhere to go because I'm on the first floor, but just want to show you. Then if you come around the corner back to the front of the building, everybody, sandals are always doing work and, you know, making sure it's beautiful. We're going to walk around to the back of the building. Well, this is the front of the building. The back, there's nothing. There's another resort that is in the back of this wall, but you can't hear or see anything going on at that resort. So like I said, if you want one of the rooms with sun, as you can see, the sun is completely in the building. So like room 101, 102, maybe 103. And then as you keep going along and you get towards our room and the rooms in the corner, there's not very much sun. And the water is very cold. I don't know if it's gonna get warmer in the warm months. I obviously think it would when it's in the 90s and close to 100 in Jamaica. But, you know, it was cold. <laughs> but we got in it. Most people lounged around this, which was my favorite part of the vacation. I stayed here at least for two hours every day, which was the hot tub and then the amazing bar. The great thing about the bar is that they serve you from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You go keep going. Here's the seat right here on the end. You have your towels. There's two towel areas. And then there's our bathrooms back there. So if you have these bathrooms, you don't have to run back to your room. And this pool and... Hot tub area is accessible to all guests staying at Sandals. So if you're not staying in the Checkers building, you may not want to run all the way back to your room, let's say in the Windsor building. I came back out on our last day to show you again the sun and where you can see it's in the beginning part of the building. The first couple of rooms in the L shape have the sun and the other rooms do not have much sun. Also want to speak on the bar. So if you are want to eat and you don't want to get up the bar will serve you anything that's open so if you want dinos if you want mariners and then they have like a bar little miniature food menu so they bring you food as well so that's another great benefit of being in this area you don't even have to get up to leave and go get your lunch my favorite part was the hot tub it was absolutely amazing beautiful i wish i had it at home <laughs> Now, there are these six cabanas that you can rent. I don't know what they cost to rent because nobody was renting them. Probably nobody used them. We used them. Um, nobody asked us for any money for them. But I'm assuming eventually during more crowded times, they would rent them. Here's the second towel station. They replenish the towels throughout the day. And then if you walk down and behind the little cabanas, there are there is this outdoor shower and you just pull a lever if you want to rinse off from the pool or the hot tub. Oops, got wet. And then right outside the building is this beautiful pond of koi fish. You can't feed the fish, but they are beautiful to look at and just add to the overall ambiance of the checker building. It was an absolutely amazing stay. I love the new rooms. This is by far, I've been to four or five sandals and this is the best sandals room I've been in. 
Now, before I close out, here's a couple of the activities that were going on Christmas week. I just wanted to throw these in at the end because they also added to the overall great experience at the resort. I really enjoy Sandals Royal Caribbean. This is my favorite sandals I've been to. And I've been to Barbados, I've been to Olchi, and I just, this is a very small boutique type resort, but the service, the food, the entertainment, everything was just amazing. We had a wonderful Christmas, and I hope you and your family also had a wonderful Christmas. If you are interested in going to Sandals, I recommend all their resorts, but definitely Sandals Royal Caribbean. And check out the new Checkers building, get you a swim up or stay upstairs in one of the uh, other suites. Just, just an amazing, amazing experience. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye now.